Cage the Elephant dropped their newest full-length album Neon Pill in May of this year and subsequently launched an extensive tour to celebrate. The Neon Pill tour is now coming to a close tomorrow at the Ocean's Calling Festival marking the end to what is officially the biggest run of the band's career thus far. The band sold over 440 tickets and grossed over $25 million across the 47-date jaunt marking a high point for the indie veterans. The tour included sold-out shows in cities like Seattle, Vancouver, Santa Barbara, Austin, Chicago and Montreal as well as California's Kia Forum and Colorado's Red Rocks Amphitheater. Cage the Elephant hasn't yet announced any plans for shows in 2025 but with numbers like that it wouldn't be surprising to see another leg or two from them. You can pick up a copy of Neon Pill here or stream it via Apple Music. Also revisit our conversation with Cage the Elephant's Matt and Brad Schultz where the two discussed Neon Pill mental health and more backstage at Bonnaroo 2024. It's close to home so to just be able to share it with our family and friends. Brad told Consequence in the interview I feel like this might be a record to be proud of or maybe not but we just learned that we set the all-time largest guest list in Bonnaroo history. I guess when you sell more than 440 tickets you have a little wiggle room to give a couple away. Cage the Elephant sells over 440 tickets grosses $25 million on Neon Pill Tour Jonah Kruger. The post cage the elephant sells over 440 tickets grosses $25 million on Neon Pill Tour appeared first on Consequence.